So this video is going to be some hand tech basics. Uh, this is specific to the uh, hand tech 1008, but you'll find that the, this tutorial, these instructions will work for pretty much uh, any scope you're using uh, within reason, obviously. But um, let's get started. So the first thing I want to introduce you is the square wave. So, uh, believe it or not, on the front of the Hantec 1008, there is actually a, uh, two pins that, if you clamp your leads on, will produce square wave. So, uh, why is this important? So, what I want to show you here is how to work with a waveform. Now, a square wave, I'm using a square wave because it's very simple, it's very easy to see, and uh, it's easy to work with. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to keep this waveform still. And the way you do that is by setting a trigger. Now the trigger is this little yellow arrow here. And what this does is, is it tells the scope when you want to start drawing the waveform. Okay? So watch, when I move this up into the waveform, the trigger magically, I mean the uh, waveform magically uh, freezes or stays still. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's frozen, it's not paused. If I disconnect the uh, lead, waveform's gone connect it back again, it's there. So what's happening here? So what's happening is you are telling the, the, the scope that you want the waveform to be drawn or to start drawing at this point, which is actually uh, uh, shown here, 766 millivolts or 0.76 volts. And this is the vertical trigger. The horizontal trigger is this one here. And what this does is it tells the scope where you want to draw the, uh, the waveform when it reaches this voltage. So if you look carefully, you can see that the level of the voltage here corresponds with this arrow here. If I were to move this higher, you can see that the waveform stays there. If we were to zoom in, to give this waveform a little bit of an edge, let's zoom into the 500 mil, uh, microseconds, you can actually see this tiny little curve here. And as I move this up and down, you can see that the waveform moves left and right a little bit. And the reason for that is that the waveform will only start to draw the, the, the excuse me, the, the scope will only start to draw the waveform when it reaches this voltage and it'll draw it in this place at this point in the graph. So that's how the trigger works. This is how you would stabilize your waveforms. Now this uh, other part that I adjusted here when I said zoom in is called the time base. Now you'll see that they're uh, labeled uh, 1000S, 10S, MS, US. What these stand for, they're just uh, units of time, S is seconds, MS is milliseconds or thousandths of a second, and US is millionths of a second or microsecond. So what this means is right now we're at 50 microseconds per division. What this means is that each of these divisions, each of these uh, dotted lines or these spaces between the dotted lines corresponds with 50 microseconds or 50 millionths of a second. So obviously this, this time base isn't very good for what we're doing here. We want something uh, with a bit more, uh, with a bit more detail, or a bit. We can see a few, a bit more of the waveform. So we're going to pick a different time base. We're going to pick the time base of let's say five milliseconds per division. Okay, here we can see a lot of different square waves. So we uh, a lot of parts of the square wave. So here we can see that from here to here corresponds with five milliseconds of time. From here to here, ten milli. Uh, from here to here, another five milliseconds. So from here to here, it would be 10 milliseconds. From here to here, it would be 15 milliseconds. And if you would count across through the whole uh, graph, it would actually be um, 50 milliseconds of time. So this uh, square wave goes high and low this many times within 50 milliseconds. Now, what if we wanted to see, uh, what if we didn't want the square wave to go so high? What if we only wanted it to go, let's say, about halfway up? Well, we can control that with the vertical. Now, what the vertical does is it is it this is where you tell the scope how many volts you want for every division. 
So here we have it to one volt uh, per division. And if we look carefully, we can see that there is a dotted line hiding behind here. Let's actually change the time base so we can see it better. There's a dotted line back here, which means that from here to here is one volt, and then from here to here is another volt, so from here to here is two volts. This means that this square wave goes from a positive two volts down to zero volts. If we want to make this half the size, all we have to do is tell the scope that we want two volts per division. And we'll just do that by hitting the arrow here. Two volts per division, square wave, square wave is only half as high. If we want this to be, for example, let's say we want each division to only be half a volt, then we'll go the other way. And now each division is half a volt. We can even make it uh, 200 millivolts per division. But now the square wave is off the screen. And the way we could fix that, well not completely fix it, but make it look a little better, is by moving the zero point. This one here uh, tells the scope where zero volts is for this channel. So if we, we still can't see the top, but you get the idea. Let's change this back to 500 millivolts per division. And there we go. So these are some basics for the scope. Um, we're going to get into a little more detail in future videos. Uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, please uh, let me know and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.